Hello participant, this is another version on how to create an e-portfolio using your mobile phone. First you must have the Chrome browser, you can download it on Google, on Google Play Store or Apple Store. Secondly, you need to take pictures of the images or videos you'd wish to use before you start developing the e-portfolio and save them on the same device that you're using to develop the e-portfolio on the Google sites. Dots. Search for sites. If they ain't, I can search directly on the search bar. Sites.google.com Click enter. You will see to create or edit a site, go to Google Sites on your desk desktop. Click on the three dots on your right. Tick desktop site. You can see it has opened. Here you are looking for student portfolio. So to find it, click on template gallery. Scroll down. You, the last option on education, you'll see student portfolio. Click on it. As you can see, it has opened. The first step is to edit your name here. Let's say I write Margaret and then you write your TSC number one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a dummy TSC number. You must replace with your own TSC number. Click add logo to change the photo. Click, you, you can upload or select, but the best option is to upload. You can either browse or click on the camera button depends on where your picture is let's see when i click browse to bring for me what the files you can see let me take this one as my logo and then you see it has uploaded and then i click cancel is it has opened. Now let's change the background of this page, the change image. Click change image, still upload, browse, choose on the specific picture you want can see it has opened the next step is to edit our title here click on it you can delete this And write Margaret G E D Learning 
journey. You see, you have edited our, our title. On About Me, it's your teaching philosophy. So let's edit here. Click on the pen like button to edit. You can delete. You can see we can write my teaching philosophy. My philosophy of education is that all children are unique. <laughs> you see, in short, your teaching philosophy is about you. A short summary about yourself. So we go to the next step. We scroll down on the achievements. Achievements. We can change this picture. Click on the picture. Three dots. Replace. Upload. Browse. You can take this one. You see, I've changed the picture. Here we can, you can, on the achievements, state your achievements in points. You can edit your achievements. Let's say in points, you can see it's editable. Even your goals, same thing. Okay. The next step is to create pages. You can see I have on this I have insert pages themes to create a page click on pages click on the plus button to add a page and then click new page so our first page will write teacher professionalism Click done. As, as you can see, we have created a new page called Teacher Professionalism. Let's create, let, let us create another page. These are the seven, according to the seven camps standard. New page. The pedagogical content knowledge and C B C click done. We have created another page 
and each page you can change an image as per what you want so to create the content inside the pages you click on insert to give you a variety of, of options to select you can select a text box like that and edit it right about what you reflect on the pedagogy content content it's editable you can see it's you can write you can click an image upload same thing so also there are content blocks click on them you can, you can see they're popping up according to what you want to to use this is depends on your creativity so you can add as many items per page as you want upload the same way here you can upload select youtube anything you want on youtube it will give you a link search on it and upload or you copy paste the link directly here and upload on the image you can upload directly browse same thing the next page you can do the same according to the seven camps you can change the, the background upload select an image upload insert add content blocks according to what you want here on click edit text you can add a picture browse When I edit, I say training as in as per watch. You should add the content as per the title of your page on each page if it is professionalism fill the page i think that's the end of the short training on how to create an e-portfolio using the the phone so the last step is to publish you can see has automatically picked my name and the TSC number and click publish it has been published to the to the web so you can copy this link and go and paste it on the virtual campus Let's say if I've copied this link and I want to view it, you can click on here, paste it, go directly. The site is okay. Boom. Here are the seven camps, the seven standard camps must be here. So you have to add the seven pages and on each page you have to insert artifacts the images the videos everything so thank you very much for listening and this is the end